Hi there, Mark here from Success with Options. Well, I'm super excited to be announcing the Mastering Short Vertical Spreads video. This has been a long time coming, a long term project that I've been working on, uh, and I think you'll see why when you look at the internals. There is well over three hours of material broken into a number of topics, which we're going to take a quick look at here in a second. So uh, hang tight as we walk through some of the various elements. Now, first of all, you can see with the menu on the left-hand side over here, there are a number of major topics that we're going to focus on, and uh, we're going to provide a fair amount of detail on each of these. So the first is uh, vertical spread mechanics, where we'll look at the various uh, components that make up a short vertical spread, as well as how vertical spreads behave over time. Next, we'll talk about strike selection, various strategies for how you would select uh, the long and the short strike and so forth. Then we'll go into entry and exit rules. So basically, how do you build a or uh, decide on a set of rules for entry and exit, followed by trade management. So once you're in the trade, how do you manage it? What do you do uh, to get out of it? What do you do if the trade goes against you and so forth? Then we'll talk a little bit about back testing. And the main point of back testing is to uh, test your strategy, get a flavor for uh, how it's going to behave over time and use it to tweak your strategy, perhaps altering your rules slightly and so forth and verifying new rules. And so we'll conclude the video with uh, the last section, creating a trading system, where we'll go back and review the various elements that we've talked about and talk about really how to build a trading system that's going to work for you. So as you can see, there's a lot of information found in this video and uh, we're going to take a quick little tour on some of the elements so you can get a flavor for how it, uh, it, it actually works and then when we're finished I'll give you a URL where you can go to the website and get more information about the video and perhaps purchase it and download it and get going on your own personal journey on short vertical spreads. First of all, let's review the basic construction of a short vertical spread. As with most spreads, there are two components that interact to limit risk in the trade. In the case of a short vertical spread, a long option is combined with a short option to limit the risk of exposure. Let's quickly look at how this works. If I was to sell a naked put, for example, on the SPY in an option cycle that had about 30 to 40 days until expiration, I might receive a credit of somewhere around a dollar. Now that's a nice credit, but I only get to keep it if the SPY expires above my sold option. If on the other hand the market sells off, my short option might become fully in the money and my risk is theoretically unlimited. To limit the risk, what I'll do is buy a long put a few strikes below the short option. Because of this, two things are going to happen. First, because the long put is further out of the money, I'll pay less for this option than the credit I received on the short option, so therefore the net difference is going to be a net credit. Second, I'll now have limited my risk to the width between the short and the long strike. The most I can lose in the trade is that difference between the short and long strike, which we'll look at here in a, in a little more detail. Let's now look at how this trade entry and exit works on a couple of different trading platforms. We'll start with the Options Express platform. First, let's set the trade up in the Options Express virtual trading account. To get there, you'll log into your account and select Toolbox, Virtual Trading. That'll take you to a page where you can launch the virtual trading account. Okay, now we're going to have to build the order by uh, first setting up the options chain. Now to do that, we're going to select Trade, Options. 
Then we'll type in, for example, the SPY and choose Find Chain. And this will kind of give us a nice little option chain here. Let's actually take a look at the Thinkorswim platform now and we'll look at a similar process to setting up a trade. Now we're here on the trade page of our virtual trading account. We would go ahead and type in the, uh, the particular underline that we're looking for, SPY, and we would do a search. And again, we're going to go into the February weeklies, which is going to expire, as it says here, in about 27 days. And we'll pick that same order. I'll go ahead and I'll right mouse click, in this case, on the short strike, and I'll say sell deep and wide, one month, two strike vertical. And we see that it sets us up with a vertical spread. And notice that it. Thank you.